Hello everyone, today is the day we finally see what the bathroom looks like without the lath and plaster. We'll go on to pick up our window for above the shower, but make sure to watch till the end to not miss the pet spotlight where Ellie sheds 10 pounds. Hey y'all, Bing just got off work today. It's about like 5 p.m. We are gonna be doing some work tonight. So I'm gonna pick up some good food for John and I. We're gonna get some canes. We're gonna get some demo done. I'm ready to just be done with the lath and plaster, especially after finding out that window that was behind our shower wall that whole time. It is crazy that that was there and just how lazy of construction. If you missed that, it's in our last episode. Um, where we also talked about the other construction issues that we'll have to fix before we can start building the bathroom back and making it beautiful. Oh, I can't wait for that stage. Currently, I'm just like, ah, it feels like it's forever away. We did end up getting that window, that rectangular window. Didn't get it from like Lowe's or Home Depot. Those big box stores just didn't have exactly what we wanted. We ended up going with a company that's in Oklahoma City downtown and we were able to customize it to where I was able to get an awning window. It has obscure glass so no one can see in and it also has the grid pattern on the window so that will match closer to um, what the other windows in the house look like. There's like bad music out here. Um, okay, I just got to Kane's. So I'm gonna walk in there and pick up our food real quick. I'll be right back. Got the goods. Get back to John and eat our yummy food. So today we're going to be removing the lath and plaster. So all of these pieces of board around here, this is the lath. The plaster are all of the little pieces in between that they used to kind of seal up that area and provide insulation back in the day. They often used um, horse hair or cow or pig hair to kind of bind that together and make it a strong, uh, sturdy substance that would seal in that wall and provide some insulation. Um, so we're going to be removing all of that because it's kind of an old school way of doing things and we're just going to start fresh with the sheetrock. We are gonna be doing the sheetrock on these inner walls here, but we've actually done some research and found out that if you do insulation and sheetrock on the outer wall, that that can actually cause moisture issues. So with a lath and plaster at home, they were meant to breathe, and that wood, if it did get wet, then it would have the ability to dry out. That doesn't happen if you put the insulation in, there's a place for water to just stay there. So. We're going to remove all the lath and plaster and then we're going to figure out the best way to insulate this wall over here in the next video because I haven't made it there yet. <laughs> and yeah, we're, then we're going to work on fixing all the problems I talked about in that last video of the construction don'ts. So let's get to it. We're going to have a good time and John's going to join me. We're going to get this done. Hopefully we're aiming for a couple hours. It's already a little bit later in the night. We just need to get as much done as we can before our Sunday episode, so let's get to it.
lot of progress, but we still have a lot more to do. <laughs> so we're going to come back on the weekend and get things finished up in here and get things gutted all the way. So I'll we'll see you then. <laughs> I'm driving right now. It's like raining right now though. It's been, Oklahoma has been so rainy this week. It's crazy. Uh, but John and I were able to do more of the lab and plaster removal last night. So I'd say we're about like halfway done. So tomorrow we'll need to do some more. The Oklahoma City Memorial Marathons this weekend. So I'm not sure we might go and check that out um, or maybe check out the arts festival as well this weekend. But I just wanted to give y'all an update. We'll be continuing that demo in the morning. Now time for a little exploration in Oklahoma City's Plaza District at John and I's favorite restaurant. This is such an edgy but cute area with amazing food options if you're ever in Oklahoma City. There are quite a few restaurants and little vintage shops or boutiques. Or if you're into arcade games, they have a place for that too. Now back to some demo. So we had a fun day out, but it's time to get back to work. We're gonna try to finish removing the lath and plaster and finish that up so we can just be done with it. And then get on to uh, demoing the floors, figuring out the framing for these walls, and then yeah, kind of going from there. So let's get to it.
Now that's it for today. Here's the finished product. Just kidding, not the finished product. We still have a lot more to go and we still need to remove the lath and plaster from that wall that's in between that will add that additional square footage to our bathroom. But this week we'll be ripping up the floors. I just realized that underneath the floor, um, the rotted subfloor that was under the toilet, that actually they cut out the piece of the floor joist there as well. So I'm assuming since it's going, the water pipe is going horizontally that way, that it continues through all the floor joists under the bathroom. So we're going to end up looking into that. We're going to have to fix a, a lot of things here. We are going to be reframing this window area here. We're going to give it a proper header and then frame it for our new window that came in and get some light in here. Now, if you want a good pet spotlight, our American Eskimo Ellie is getting prepared for the summer of Oklahoma. So we're gonna go ahead and shave her, give her a lion's cut, and you can see that process after this if you'd like. See you later, Oklahomies.
Come here. Come here. Look how, show them how pretty you look after your fancy spa time. Oh, yes. Oh, oh yes. You're so pretty. You're ready for Oklahoma summer now, aren't you? You're so ready. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Oh, you're so beautiful. Can you sit? That's a good girl. Good girl. Okay. 